What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. I've got a new piece in my collection here at The Ben Thomas Show, and I wanted to share it with you because I'm excited and I want to support the community member who got it to me. It's Renz Tolentino Art. So, stick around. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back. So it's a little bit of a different show tonight. I just wanted to kind of look over the artistry of Renz Tolentino dot art on Instagram. Like I said, I just picked up this particular print. Now he did a print limited run, which was pretty cool. I don't normally buy art, but when I saw this get posted on Instagram, and I see Renz in the community of Hot Toys collectors and collectors in general all the time supporting channels, supporting YouTube streamers. Uh, it's appreciated and it gets noticed. And I thought it was such a well done piece of art that I, I had to comment at the time. And I said like, geez, like, dude, like I'm amazing. Like, I love this. Uh, and he was like, well, like, you know, if you want, I can put one aside for you. So I said to heck with it and bought it. Now, not after it took me a couple of weeks to actually collect the funds. I had just paid for the DeLorean. I've got my in-art jokers coming. And so I was kind of like, ah, like, I'll get the money to you. And I, I did. I, it honestly took me like a month to, to work it up. And I finally got it to him. He was totally gracious about it. He had held it for me, which was really appreciated, and then sent it off. So I just got it in my collection and I gotta say, I love it. I will show you a picture of it kind of in my collection room here uh, shortly, but I did want to highlight the Instagram page because, you know, the artwork is extremely impressive. One thing that I thought was really cool that Renz provides is an uh, like a certificate of authenticity. It's a hard thing to say twice or three times, um, but it was a it was a cool feature that I didn't realize he was going to send with his artwork. He also signs the art, which I appreciate. Um, now. The one piece of feedback that I'll give collectors who are interested in buying some of his art, I didn't ask what size the print was before I purchased it, which seems like an obvious mistake, like you'd think you would ask that, but I didn't think to ask, and when it arrived, I didn't know what size frame to buy. Turns out my copy was 18 and a half inches by 22 and a half, I, sorry, 18 and a half inches by 24 and a half inches, so it was way larger than anybody ever needs but I actually like it in terms of the size of the artwork. And I couldn't find a frame to save my life. Couldn't find one. So I ended up having to cut a piece of the actual frame itself out so that I could fit it in. So it's in, it's secure, looks amazing, but just asked what size you're getting so you can plan it well for your own collection space. Thankfully, I'm very happy with the artwork, so not to worry there. Uh, but like check this out if you guys haven't seen Renz's artwork some of it is just I mean all of it is absolutely amazing It's beyond anything that I could ever dream of drawing myself uh, Nobody wants me to draw a picture for them But yeah, no, this is pretty cool We got no more And I like that you get a chance to see some of the artistry that goes into it like how the design starts and kind of where he brings it through It's pretty cool And he seems to get artwork done, it looks like within about a week of starting it. So that's pretty impressive. I mean, like, look at the Queen Ramonda here. Like, this is crazy, crazy work. Crazy, crazy work. Mandalorian, Grogu, you love to see it. Stan Lee here is really, really good. Yeah. I'm not going to check out all the pictures tonight. Um, cause I'm not even live. I just wanted to record this for you guys. So you got a chance to see kind of my feeling and gut check on this piece of art. Uh, the experience with Renz was seamless. I paid him through PayPal. Um, and he shipped within, I think one and a half days of me ordering the product uh, or the, the print, uh, which was really good. Um, zero concern there whatsoever he even went out of his way to reach out to me throughout the process and like send me up-to-date tracking information 
uh, which was cool, something I didn't even ask for. So uh, my experience overall was good. I know that for my copy, it did get a little bit bent at the top right corner uh, of the art. So I would recommend to Renz that he thinks about doing better corner protection. We talked a little bit about that. And I think he's going to do that uh, kind of moving forward. Um, but honestly, either way, once it was in the frame, couldn't even see it anyways. So it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's a very small nitpick for such a cool item. Uh, so let me bring up my picture here for you so you guys can see it in the collection. Uh, I don't have it hung on the wall yet, but I'll share it with you anyways. Uh, but make sure you check out RensTolentino.art on Instagram. Um, I paid for my copy. He did not give it to me for free to promote him by any stretch. I just thought it was cool and I wanted to share it with my community and celebrate somebody who also contributes to the community that we're all in. So take a look at it in my collection and then I will catch you guys on the next one. Just a reminder to everybody this week, I'll have my Let's Get Nuts stream on Sunday. I'm gonna do it an hour later than I did last time. So if you can join live, it would be great to see everybody in the chat. I'm gonna have Pete from uh, OFAC on Collecting Weekly there as well as Hoth's Hometown Hero. Never streamed with them before. I'm excited to have a good conversation, get to know the guy a little bit better, uh, and talk some toys, get a little nuts, and, and have some fun on a Sunday afternoon. Thanks, everybody.